Welcome to the Commissioner's Corner. My name is Dale Schwab. I'm one of your Hubbard County Commissioners. This is the first of a presentation of many to follow. The purpose is, is to bring to the citizens of Albert County current county events. It is designed to be informative, to be open, and certainly to be helpful. One of the advantages of this presentation is that you have the opportunity to have community comments. This will allow the public to ask questions and then the commissioner will respond to appropriate questions. We look forward to working with you. Let's talk a little bit about the compactor site. This has been a long going issue within the county and the Board of County Commissioners would like to find resolution on this. Let's talk a little bit about the history of what has occurred. In 2011 we were notified by the state that there was unauthorized digging taking place on the site. They had required us to provide them with a 24 hour entrance to the site for its inspection of which we complied with. When we, what we did find was unauthorized excavation. We found debris that was brought in from the, uh, the, the company. Now this really is an upsetting fact for this county and the Board of County Commissioners. The state did not close down the site. The county closed the site down due to the hazards that were present out there with the excavations and the debris that was scattered throughout the site. On 1-25-2012, there is a mitigation plan that will be presented to the state by our staff. The BLCC is not happy about what's happened at our site, but we have established a dedicated team to find resolution in this subject. Let's talk a little bit about water in our county. Water is one of the best assets that we have in our county. As a result of not having enough information when we were faced with a metro district, we elected to put together a water task force. We received a number of resumes of very highly qualified people. As a result of that, we elected to appoint three people as the core members of the organization, Dr. Jerry Cook, Mark Fillmore, Diana Robbins. The remainder of the resumes have been turned over to that committee for selection to fill out that committee. Their first meeting will be announced on our website. Fairgrounds Master Plan. We're conducting our fourth meeting February the 13th, 2012 at 6 p.m. at the Board of County Commissioners meeting room. The topics that will include it will be the opening of the bid for the bleachers, improvements, drainage. We would look forward to having the public please attend this very important meeting to develop the plans for the future of the Albert County Fairgrounds. Wind energy continues to grow in Albert County. We were just notified recently that there's been 29 additional towers to be built and there's other sites under consideration. This is really important to the county because of employment and potential lodging development. There are other economic development projects that include recreation centers, sporting facilities. Please stay tuned to these exciting updates. Let's talk a little bit about the Nine Health Fair. We have been approached by the community and citizens in our area to bring back the Nine Health Fair, a very important program that served this community well for a number of years. We are currently seeking partners for this event. If anybody is interested in helping us or helping put it back together, we would be more than willing to work with you. We have a study session that is scheduled in February for the April event.
Let's talk a little bit about community comments that was mentioned earlier in our presentation. In fact, let's go back and look at the two that we received this week. Bill writes, has the county made any temporary provisions for recycling of newspaper, cans, and bottles while a compactor site is closed? If not, where is the closest location of said recycling? Bill, I'd like to refer you to the county website in the public health and environment section. It has a complete listing of all those facilities that are available. Lisa writes, hello, Mr. Miller. I would like to thank you for all the hard work you have put into making the oil and gas regulations. I have read the new additions and I like them very much. Well done. Thank you for putting the welfare of the county, its citizens, our wildlife, and our water ahead of any special interests. Keep up the good work. Signed, Lisa. And I'd like to thank Bill and Lisa for your communications this week. And I would encourage citizens to contact us by our email for further questions. Have a good day. Thank you.